I heard you wanted a VTubing application that has built-in hand tracking so you don't have to buy Elite Motion. Okay. Oh, and you also want this to be free? Well, I guess I could do that. In last week's video, I showed you guys a free app for your phones called Virtue. And this week, I'm gonna show you guys on how you can use Virtue on your desktop. So if you haven't already, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the video and it really does help out the YouTube channel. Also, if you're on the hunt for copyright free DMCA free music, consider checking out Semfi's Lo-Fi. Links in the description down below. Also, any and all links mentioned in this video will be in the description down below. So make sure you go there and check out those links. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is go to virtue.fun. Once we're at the website, we're gonna scroll down a little bit and we're gonna click on get the app. Once the page loads, we are going to click on free download. The website that we download Virtue from may ask us to make an account. Just make a free account and you're good to go. Now that we have Virtue downloaded, what we're gonna do is right click on the folder and we're gonna unzip it to Virtue Alpha. And as we see that we have the folder right there, so we're gonna double click on it. And as we also can see, it is a lightweight program. So we're gonna save the folder somewhere safe. So maybe somewhere in your C drive or keep it on the desktop if you feel like you're not gonna delete it. Once we have the folder open, we're just gonna double click Virtue. Great, now that we have Virtue open, we can see that it has a digital representation with tracker balls on us using our webcam. And on the top right hand side, we have our settings. So we could change our camera, our resolution. It has a little built in tutorial and some different little logs. If we click on advanced settings, we have texture size, resolutions, and you know, nothing really too important there. On the bottom right hand side, we see there's a little button there that says avatar. So when we click on avatar, we see that there are different preloaded models that we can choose and play with. So for example, this is the model that we see on the app version. We got one button here for import and we can also pull avatars in from Vroid Hub as long as you connect your account and link it. And again, on the bottom right hand side, we see a button called effects. So when we click on effects, we can change our backgrounds to a green screen, blue screen, yellow screen, or whatever screen we want, but we'll keep it at blue screen. On the look button, we can see that it's different expressions. So sensitivities, if we want to hold it or just have it as a toggle, so on and so forth. We got different poses. So we can pose our model into whatever different poses that we have selected here. So we click on a pose and we see the model poses and we'll go back to a default stance and on the last tab, we can see we have animation. So what this will do is make the avatar play in a certain animation. And then once the animation is done playing, it will put your character again into a default pose. And tracking wise, we see the application is kind of okay. It is a little bit janky, but this program is in alpha. And the fact that they were able to do this much in an alpha is absolutely amazing. But sadly, the tracking is not on par with the leap motion right now but it will get there eventually now i have tested virtue with different webcams such as like a gopro hero 4 or even an iphone unfortunately the hand tracking doesn't get any better but it is recommended that you get as much lighting as possible to help the tracker track a little bit better virtue does take around 33 percent of cpu usage sometimes 40 as we see VC face taking less than 5%. So if you do intend to use this software, make sure you have the overhead space required to use the application. Sadly, the Virtue desktop application does not have all the same features as Virtue on mobile. We are missing things like built-in iFacial mocap and virtual props. Even though I am very confident they will add these features in their later versions down the road. Again, this is an alpha, so we gotta be a little bit patient with them. But I wanna hear from you, the viewer. I wanna know if you're gonna try Virtue, and if you do, let me know how it is. Again, I'm your VTuber Senpai. I stream here on YouTube every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So make sure you come on by, say hi, and let's talk about anime, gaming, VTubing, whatever, and well, I'll catch y'all the next one. Bye.
Special shout out to this month's patrons. Blue underscore devil and Chitra. Thank you so much for your continued support. If you want to be a Patreon member, make sure you check out the links in the description down below.